So. Okay. So I'm doing half steps between two and three and five and six. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm doing the next octave, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So combined, I'm going to switch to my pinky there. That way I can do this stretch. And then I switch back there. Now, Dorian, we have a raise six. A lot of times when people do uh, something with Dorian, it gives it that kind of a, an out sort of sound. Right. Or say if uh, back to Santana, if we were doing... That's your that's your Dorian right there. Right. Right. Anyway, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's such a good lick. I mean, I just want to learn more recognizable stuff so I can just yeah. bust it out anytime. <laughs> There's your Dorian. So, anyway, that, yeah, that to me, uh, the shape you're playing. It's just totally a new ground, so I'll practice some Dorian scales, I think, would be good. So, um, what else you been working on? So, anyway, uh, there are a bunch of different things you can do, back, even yeah. back to the that Robin Ford stuff. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can, nice. yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I'll, that's good. Um, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to show you? Um, I think I'm going to show you really quick, but I've I made a little bit of progress on um, the loops. Uh, you know what? Let's let's spend the last ten minutes on that um, Christmas song. Okay. Okay. You showed it to me, and I watched that video, but I couldn't really pick it up. So. Can you break that down a little bit more? That was uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas and you oh, okay. do, like weird, crazy jazz chords. Okay. Um, let's see. I think, um, and I didn't send it to you, did I? Oh, I didn't. No, I don't think I got a uh, anything. Let's see if I can. Sure, how readable this is going to be. Oh, okay. 
You have something uh, tabbed out? Or... Yeah. Cool. That would be helpful, too. Let's see here. Okay, I just sent it to you. Sweet. Yeah, um, this is going to go a long way with even the video that you did last week. And I'll see if I can play through it so you can record it. Great. Yep, we are rolling. Um, try to get somewhat in tune. Oh, yeah, this is very clear. You took this with your phone? Like a PDF. So a couple of things. Um, um, well, I'll play through it first. I'll try Great. to play through it. Awesome. See. Um, Skip that part and go. Uh, 
let's see here we'll go to um let me try that part again sorry okay <laughs> to the beginning. See, I guess we're going to the next page. Whoops. Whoops. exactly what I need. So I will um, have this in front of me. This is going to go a long way. Did you add anything? Or is this, do you pretty much play exactly what's written? I added some stuff. Um, yeah, okay, I thought so. A little bit. So uh, a... one of the things I added is that third chord on here, the D minor 7. Uh-huh. When I first wrote it out, I, I wrote it out as this D minor 7. So I, see that. I think I see it stretched out. Um, so it would go the way it's written is um, so, but a lot of people are having problems doing this. So I changed it to here. So this would be a D minor 7 here, right? Yep. But I'm going to go with the pinky there. As opposed to... Yeah, that's... I, I like that one, but... I do too. This is where I was playing it before, kind of. Um, although mine's in a completely different key, the one I looked up. <laughs> yeah, this is in C, but I um, like the sound of this. Better. For me to sing it, I typically would play it in A. Oh, really? Which of course oh. wouldn't be this version. Right. Um, a. Okay, interesting. So I would do something like. Um, have, let's see. Now I'm in. Now yeah, I'm still in C. In C. Yeah, C. Yeah. So it would start on have your have yourself a um let's see have yourself a merry little Christmas. There you go, yeah. Um so anyway, back to this. The reason I do this in C for this arrangement is because everything fits nicely yep. in that area. Right. Yeah, I bet you it just sounds awesome on acoustic too. I mean, it sounds great now, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's designed more for that. Is it? Yeah. 
or a jazz guitar. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got. Uh, to end it with or you could end it with uh, nice. that you right could it, or you could That's end awesome. it with let's see <laughs> the tab on that too that was sick <laughs> that was super cool <laughs> awesome man um you probably gotta go huh yeah would you got would I, something else i just wanted to run something by you i don't uh okay we can play something um i'll play those other things next time i had a quick question when i record these do you mind if i put them on my youtube channel just to like sh save them or no that's that's fine you sure that's cool yeah that's fine i was just okay so if that's okay. I was just curious. <laughs> I mean, are and you, what's your YouTube channel again? It, it's Molecular Matt. Um, I, can, uh, I can send you the link to the last lesson. I'll just send you the link. Okay. Then you can I know it. you sent it to me before, and, and, and I yeah. never did. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm just curious. Are you trying? Are you interested? Like, because I think that there's some. <laughs> I do a lot of video marketing for the company, live streaming, like these lessons. I think of the awesome marketing material for you because it just demonstrates how like you fill in the gaps in my knowledge so perfectly. I, I just, it was an idea. Have you ever thought about like marketing your, your service? Well, I've, I've, I've thought about it a lot actually, Cool. but yeah. implementing it has been yeah. a bit of a problem for me. Right. Right. Um, Cause I, I just uh, recently oh. bought a new camera, a new Fuji camera, so I could start doing videos and uploading them. And um, right. I do have a bunch of videos uh, already recorded. They're not like as good as a lot of the lesson videos you see, but right. I know okay. my my internal instincts would be to wait until they're perfect. Right, right. But that's not gonna happen. That's the thing that I've realized. Um, yeah, I feel like that's the, these days, everyone is so about live too, and that is totally unedited, and it's very forgivable. Like people mess up on live stuff. It's like whatever. It's live, yeah. Yeah. and then you're done. You don't need to even take a single other th step. It's out there, right? You know, like we could do some cool things, and I would just love to help. You know, help you in any way I can. Like I, I think I that I, I may definitely hit you up on that because okay. that's something. Because uh, that's one of the my projects for this year is I've got a photo um, uh, let's see here I've got a, a photo website now oh right yeah photographer website yeah awesome. but I'm gonna shut it down as a photographer website and use it as a musician's website right right you can totally do um, that. because I don't do much professional photography anymore and yeah. um, and I haven't gotten any hits on I don't get any work off of that anymore. I used to because I used to be actively promoting it. Right. Um, but so I already 
have a, a Squarespace website. Nice, nice. And I want to, there are a couple of lessons I want to start with that I'm going to do a series. Oh, dude, um, that would be so cool, yeah, to complement you know, what you do. Uh, like already. a blues series is going to be one of them. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, here, I would just, can I just give you some advice from my experience with this? Because absolutely, absolutely. I used, dude, I used to be into video. That's how I got into the work I do now. I just started doing marketing for them. And, uh, well, it was, it's my family business. So, you know, I just made videos in the beginning because that's all I knew how to do. But then I would obsess over them. I never got anything done. And it's, it was just ridiculous. But this year, our video, our YouTube channel has like, hundreds of videos from this year just because I started doing it. I will just meet with a customer and talk to them about their website and record it. And then we get a ton of awesome material out of it. I mean, you do want to edit it so that it's more useful, but even just putting up the full meeting, I think is useful um, to demonstrate our value. So you could do the same thing. You don't even have to edit your lessons. Just tell all your students, I'm recording all the lessons now. And, I, and then you can just put up whatever you want on YouTube. Right, right. That's just an idea. So I'll start putting them up on my YouTube cha page. Okay. And I feel like you could do your Wix space thing, but honestly, Facebook is like a really good place to start for marketing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You've already got the audience. You've got to get people to your page. That's really hard. But you want a page where it's like people will go if they want to learn more about you, or maybe we could have – like set it up so that you can charge for your lessons there. Like people. Well, that's watch kind of what I was thinking was, um, and I'll, I know a lot of people do this, is they, um, and I hate to use the term clickbait, but right, because um, it's not. But right. They'll do samples, right? Lessons, you know, free lessons on YouTube. Right. right. Exactly. And then if you want to learn the rest of the lesson, or if you want to take lessons from me, or if you want to download this whole thing, go to my website. Right. Right. You know, and I know that uh, there's this uh, a number of photography websites that I follow uh, um, and video ones. And one guy I was listening to a while back and he because of the recent changes with YouTube, uh, they, they've changed the way they monetize things in the past year or so. Right. Um, and so he's like, you know, I don't make near as much money as I used to. Uh, it's harder and harder to monetize on YouTube. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm everything that I put on YouTube is going to go on my my website. Right. Um, right. Because right. if YouTube just all of a sudden decides to charge everybody a ton of money, I'll right. have all my stuff already on my website. That's right. That's um, I, I know that I'm getting, you know, putting the cart ahead of the horses. You know, well, no, you know, no, that's but, a good stuff to be thinking about for sure. Yeah, I mean, you can you can actually download your videos from YouTube, so you could always use YouTube as a like place to just upload stuff. But then, well, I, I know you mentioned that you use it to store stuff. Um, Basically, yeah, and you know, some of those like I think you liked one of my live videos. I haven't done one of those in a while, but like that's all through this platform called Restream, and that's pretty cool because you can send it to Facebook, Twitter, everything at one time. And then they also save it for you. It's fifty bucks a month, but you know then but they so save what? It for you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, I, I shoot most of my videos I've shot so far. I just shoot on my iPhone. Yeah, right, right. You know, okay. Which you know I can only do so much with with those. Right, um, right, yeah. But I I know there are people that that can do uh, that do some good ones. But I can only really, especially in the space I'm in. Yeah. I can only really get one angle. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. I guess I can set up two or three iPhones and, and shoot different angles, but... Well, what you do in our start... lesson is really good, switching between the two. That's all that you really need, I think, so I can clear yeah. the neck. Yeah, um, and I think I might actually try to start using this other Zoom camera for actually doing lessons, you know. Definitely. Yeah, that, I that is do, so clear. You know, because right. I would like a two, um, and it's much clearer actually when it's not going through Zoom. Right. Because it's a pretty uh, decent, it's it's actually a Zoom brand, not Zoom, you, right. you know, Zoom equipment. Yeah, like but, the recorders and stuff. Right, exactly. It's yeah. actually a Zoom recorder. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, that's made for musicians. Oh, sick. That's good. Nice. So okay. when the whole COVID thing started. Right. Um, I was scrambling to get another uh, 
uh, webcam. Right. You couldn't find one. There were oh no my. law detect, no nothing. There was nothing available. Jeez. I couldn't. I That's mean, weird. I went to a bunch of on cameras and couldn't couldn't find anything available. Wow. I mean, Best Buy, B and H. Uh, right. I mean, Target, Walgreens. I right. mean, uh, Walmart. I mean, I could not find a, a decent um, webcam. And so you already so had I, this. I, Said. Well, no, I had, I called uh, B and H because I oh. bought a ton. Of, I don't know, you know B and H, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's the company that makes the recording stuff. They're a big music photography store in New York City. Right, right. And I've I've spent tens of thousands of dollars with them over the years. <laughs> yeah, dude. F um, but I called them and I was saying, look, I need to get a webcam. I'm I'm right. trying to you know switch all my lessons to online and i can't find a webcam and the lady said well get this <laughs> this is what you want you don't right. want one of those other webcams get this because it's got great audio and it's great you know you got multiple right. angles you can or uh, views you can shoot from wide angle telly you know now, but, it makes anyway. a big difference i can hear it in the video when i actually watched it last week between your audio and mine it's a lot better so, dude, yeah, I think, and then the other thing, finally, the last step, I mean, you got to market, but then, like, to grow your client base, I mean, are you thinking about doing um, virtual, like, long-term? Because then you're like, geography doesn't matter. And... I, I am, actually. Cool. Okay. I am actually thinking of doing it long-term, and I want to um, I'll start using, because uh, so far on my Instagram, I only put up little photos, you know. Right. Right. But I'm going to start putting up songs and start using uh, Instagram and right Facebook, and, you know, to start to market it a little bit. Right on, dude. That's um, awesome. But yeah, maybe I can hit you up for some ideas on how to expand my my for sure. You know, subscriptions. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I want to just uh, help out because I mean I'm into the live streaming stuff and making video and. Um, I just, and maybe you can help me. We can trade some stuff, you know, some lessons for you can help me with shooting some video and stuff. You know, <laughs> I would love to, man. Absolutely. I mean, what I was actually going to say is like, if you ever wanted to try the live thing, um, you know, we could just use my platform. I, I think I would have to use my Zoom account, but I, I don't know. That's that's getting ahead of ourselves. For yeah, now, yeah. I'm just going to post. Yeah, forget live. That's what video? Be. What camera do you use? I just use the one right on my MacBook. This is uh huh. I mean, when you're when you actually when you you say you've done a bunch of videos right. and stuff, you mean just the right? You're well, not talking about going out and shooting, like taking a camera to a, no. a venue or that. Right, kind of thing. right. Okay. No, I never got into that. And that, okay, like a year ago, I went to my last in-person conference that I'll ever do in my life because I actually decided even before COVID hit. After that, these things are. A waste of time <laughs> like I, I spent so much money traveling but anyway um, yeah like I never got into that I just share my screen so pretty much I'm just the camera is my screen and then my picture right. is a very small one so I don't need a high quality camera really for this right but, um, yeah I do share my webcam because a lot of people in the business don't do that yet and I think people like seeing who they're talking to so I do yeah that you kind of have to I mean it's part of yeah yeah and I think the quality is gonna be uh, I need somewhat of, of good quality I want to start yeah. using my my Fuji camera right. they just actually um, updated the the firmware right. so I can actually use it um, as a webcam okay right on um, yeah the firm I, oh, yeah that stuff yeah, yeah there was a this little junction piece this HDMI Thing that I couldn't buy, right? You know, because I've been waiting for it to come in, and there because it's made in China, right? You know, oh, uh, right. Uh, That's what it is. That was the deal with all of the webcams. Everything was made in China, and you. Can't I didn't even it. make that connection. I'm like, yeah. is there like a, everyone's all buying webcams? Like, totally well, everyone different. was buying them for one. They and were all and them, there was no supply, and there weren't any coming back in. That is insane. Yeah. That's so weird. But anyway, <laughs> so. Yeah. Cool, dude. Yeah, um, we'll talk more about it some other time, and uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, just... let me know if you have questions on that um, song, sure. on that piece, we'll and do otherwise, I will see you next year. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Sounds good. So no lesson next week. I'll see you next year. Cool, dude. All right, have a good holiday. All right, all right you too. Thanks, all right, see you. Bye. Bye.